Alright, so hopefully this will be a little bit more of a practical video. And in this video we're going to attempt to write this add function in assembly. So let's start off by seeing how trying well trying to visualize how add stack looks like adds stack looks like once we get to this line in our main function in our main function so once we get to that line in our main function we already know that uh, the arguments that we pass to it are going to get pushed onto its stack so arguments a and b are going to get pushed onto the stack in order from right the rightmost argument and so forth so from right to left so in our case b is the rightmost argument and then comes a and we'll also push on this thing called the return address that always gets pushed on after these arguments after the functions arguments and we know that our register ESP always points to the top of the stack so it'll be pointing right here so ESP is going to be pointing to the top of the stack so so once we got that out of the way let's get to actually trans well not yeah well translating this C code that's basically what we're doing we're translating it into assembly alright so we start off usually we'll start off by having some of these little pre let's call them prerequisites before we actually get to coding we will have a dot global saying that we'll start at the label add and we'll have a dot text indicating that our actual code our instruction code will be starting here so I won't explain these two lines in this in this tutorial but um, hopefully I'll get around to it in another video so anyway um, so you always want to write that before you write the code and we'll start off let me put it in a different color we'll we'll start our code at this add label so this add label like I said before whenever we're writing a function in assembly we always want to start with this thing called the prologue so the prologue I explained this in another video it goes something like this the prologue let me draw this in a different color prologue goes something like this push EBP and move ESP to EBP so let's go at this line by line so we're saying so when we get to this line here basically we're saying alright push the value EBP the value of it that the, well, the value that it had before it actually before we do anything with it so I like to call that the value I like to call that value old EBP so in our drawing here we'll push on old EBP so we're pushing on old EBP and we know that when that happens our ESP register will be pointing to the top of the stack oh yeah one thing I didn't really touch on was forgot to say that these are high memory addresses and it goes to low memory address so yeah so now that we have that this next line this next line here it's basically telling us in simple words it's telling us alright make EBP make EBP point to whatever ESP is pointing to so EBP will basically oh, so we're basically moving the value we're copying the value of ESP into EBP and that just means EBP will point to the same thing that ESP is pointing to so EBP let me get EBP EBP will be pointing to let me move ESP up EBP will be pointing to oh crap EBP will be pointing to the same thing that ESP is pointing to hopefully you see that now all right so that's the prologue we always start with that and we'll hope yeah we'll see in this video why exactly we do that so anyway after we do that like I said in my calling conventions the GCC calling conventions um, video 
I said that, well, when we're getting called on, since we're going to be the add function in this case, main is calling us, so we're the callees. So what does the GCC calling conventions tell us? Well, it tells us that the registers EDI, ESI, EBP, and EBX, they got to be, when, we ter when our function terminates, they got to be the same values that they were when we were called by main. So I, what I like to do and a lot of people like to do is we save them onto the stack. No matter what, just save, just as soon as you do the prolog, just push all those registers onto the stack and um, you can always pop them back off. You always have them there. So it's, it's kind of an insurance. So let's do that. So we'll, here we're basically saving live registers so we'll save all these live registers so registers we'll push them on we'll push them on we'll push um, let's push ESI let's push EDI let's push since we already pushed EBP up here in the prologue we don't we won't have to push it so we'll push EBX last so yeah so now we have all of our registers saved and this is how it'll go it'll 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 basically push them down here so we'll have ESI was the first one that we pushed EDI was next and finally EBX we pushed all those things so we know that because of this ESP which we said always has to be pointing to the top of the stack so ESP won't be pointing up here anymore ESP will actually be pointing to let me draw this in red ESP will be down here now ESP so ESP moved alright cool so we got all our all our live values, live registers saved. Um, we got that insured. So now let's move on to, well, to let's. So on, the next thing in our C code is we declare this variable C. So how we write that in assembly is basically we're gonna we're gonna make some room for this variable C since we we really haven't d declared anything in it. So we really haven't made it any value we'll just this is how we do it we're, we're gonna let's see make room for C which is basically declaring it so we'll make some room on the stack for C so we're gonna so how we do this is we're gonna move ESP down and it's just gonna it's gonna make some room for for C so basically by moving ESP down let me draw it. So by moving ESP down, by moving ESP down, it'll be moved down here. ESP. And we know that this is just going to be blank for now, but we'll just say, okay, this is going to be where C is going to lie. So C is going to be right here. Alright, so that's basically this line of code. We're going to and how do we do this though? How do we do this? How do I explain how we do this? We'll do this by subtracting 4 from E from ESP. So we're subtracting 4 from ESP. So each one of these blocks, you gotta remember, each one of these blocks is a word. And since I'm using x86, each word size is going to be four bytes. So ESP was up here before, right? And I said, all right, move, I mean, subtract four from ESP. So if we subtract four from ESP, it's going to move down here. So that's how we make room for things like that, for like local variables. That's how we make room for them. So we don't have anything in here yet, but we will in a sec. So what the, what's the next thing we do? So the next thing we do in our C code is 
no not return <laughs> what we do next is we well we add these two numbers together so here's gonna oh wait I'm running out of time so I'll continue this in my next video alright I'll see you guys around make sure to watch this next video